Hello, Eco Gypsy here, back with my friend Mr. Goldsworthy for a bit of an insight on the wagon he was carving, and we've got a little, a little nice video for you today of some very intricate carving. So uh, it's going to be quite an interesting one. So that's the uh, mirror there, which Mark was carving a corner of last time. So that's all in and in place. Looks very, very nice. How many weeks works in that, Mark? That was about uh, one, two, three, four, about six days work. About six days. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot in that. All right. We've got some nice rope detail on the bed plate there. Yeah, there. I was going to say they're new. I think the rail. Nice horses there. Rare to see this in the bare wood, but this is pre-painting or pre-anything really. I think these are all new as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're nice. They have bought in the carving. Hell of a lot of detail. So these cupboards. Wider. Right. The style's wider. Yeah. Nice. And also, Nor wanted the uh, quite a thick carpet, so I've got to raise it up at the bottom. Right. So there will be a, a little bit higher to allow clearance of the carpet. Right. These, these are hand carved. Let me just show you these. I just want to get the bloody zoom in on that. I think. So. <laughs> How many of these? Me mad. Yeah. How, there's, there's, how many of these? Uh, I think there was nearly 50. 50 of these. So where are they going to go? These have got to sit in. Wow. So these are the smallest ones, obviously, for the drawers. Yeah. So they've got to sit in there. And then for the doors, they, they go up slightly in scale. Right. So... Um, so bottom. every one of these is going to have that on then? Yeah. Wow. And you're going to show us one being carved today, yeah? Yeah. And the, yesterday I just finished. <laughs> um, there's about a month's work in there then. <laughs> well, it's a fair bit. Yeah. yeah. But there's two odd ones that have got to go in. And there's one. They've got to go in the corner above the earring cupboard. Right. So they were... I managed to stab so. my finger doing them. Cause yeah, I mean, how do you really, how do you really hold them? I'll show you when I carve them. Yeah, it's a tiny one. Where is it gone? Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. You see the blood look. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's got to go in that space. Yeah. And then this one, which was the awkward one. Wow. It's got to go in that space. <laughs> and there wasn't a lot to hold on to. No. On that one. No. Hence the blood. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, these are all been chamfered out as well. Hell of a lot of detail for a little old wagon. That mirror's amazing. Unusual as well yeah well it was decided by the shape of the mirror so uh, we had to come up with some solution because the mirror was an odd shape yeah for the uh, yeah breast of the uh, fireplace so I, I had these little ones so i've yeah. got i've got little ovals and little round ones that yeah. come off the fair yeah did you have some with some cut stars and that in as well no i haven't got any of those. all right no. Maybe that's Johnny. I'd I've, some uh, I've just got the beveled and non beveled. Yeah. But uh, it, it sort of filled that space up. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Yeah, it looks great. And then the backs of them as well. 
So is this an open lot or are you going to have, is there doors? No, no, this is going to remain an open lot. Yeah, good, yeah. Because yeah. it's actually quite a small wagon, although it, 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 the inside is now being turned into what you'd expect to see in a big wagon. Yeah. It's actually still quite a lot of room in this little wagon. So you can get one person there, you get two there and one here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you still don't feel overly crowded. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the trick of them. Is, yeah. is to keep everything you've got all the cupboards and everything and all the storage space but you've still got enough to yeah. be able to use it and I think also open lot if you know that's nice with the, if that's what it was originally that's what it should be in it really yeah. in my, my opinion yeah. but yeah I, I do like a closed in lot because you know you can <laughs> shut the door lock, put a lock on and then go away for a little yeah. while but um, you're doing a bit inside that cupboard as well have I? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, carried that around as well. Yeah. So it's obviously got to have glass in this one. Yeah. And then the bottom one is closed. Oh, it's still carving in the bottom. Yeah. Right. It, well, uh, just carry it through. You, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. keep Every time you sit in here, you just see, oh, there's a space there that looks a bit bland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it. guess, yeah. Right. And that doesn't in, uh, so I've just started cutting out the uh, first fruit for the outside. So right. I'll show you them as well. Yeah, cool. So I've drawn them up. Yeah. And then I've fret sorted them all out. Just yeah. a clean edge. I've stuck them down to the board like we spoke about right last before, board. yeah. And then next job is to carve them and then I can relieve them and just then tidy up the edges. So you, you'll lose that squareness where everything is yeah. beveled over. To meet the back of the carving, yeah, and um, but having fret sawed that, that's done quite a lot of your hard work, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just get a close up of the line work on there. So, in a I know I keep making parallels to the tattooing, but you're using a stencil template. to work or template to work off, yeah, yeah. So, I draw everything out on paper, yeah, and this is well they call this pattern card so it's quite durable yeah so you, eventually you'll wear it out and then you've got the reverse so put a bit of carbon paper draw it on yeah turn it over and you should have Which two that go we, either side of the room used to do for tattooing isn't it? exactly the same if you're doing a back piece or something you just yeah. draw half of it up and then flip it yeah and yeah, you're, because you're saving your drawing time well also if they're symmetrical they look better than if they're don't fit. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. They just look odd. Yeah. And then these are ones I've drawn up for another wagon. So yeah. they're, they're for Mark's wagon over at John. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're extra ones, but they're a little bit more complicated. Yeah. Because they're quite fat, so you haven't, you can't actually fret them out. Yeah. So they've got a, a quite a deep base, and then the carving is on the front face. Yeah, they are heavy on that wagon, aren't they? Yeah, but they don't look too bad because they, they've been... Uh, gilded to lighten them up yes so, so if you don't gild everything and you leave sort of like a dark line inside mm. it looks lighter than it actually is i think john was saying that about the roof ones that the roof uh, carvings were were really heavily gilded and that didn't you couldn't see any of the detail no, in them no, so no, he's no. really done them and brought up detail as well as gold and that they do look a lot nicer well, it's the same with the mona lisa that, i mean they're so heavily carved yeah but you didn't want to gold everything you yeah. just wanted the gold the, the surf, highlight the, yeah the highlight yeah. Yeah, surface yeah, yeah, yeah. and that, that made everything look finer yeah although it wasn't that fine you had the stability of the wood behind it yeah, hold yeah. it together. Yeah, because if, if you have too thin a bit, they just break off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is our blank, is it? So yeah, start with uh, I think that's seven mil thick for those. Right, right. So one corner has got to be an inch, and they've got to come down an inch, and then cut it off at um, forty-five degrees. So an inch square. We're working at basically well two two sides are an inch so it's even smaller than that because it's half of that yeah so that's my blank let's cut that out okay so what? Four. so 
um, what is it? Sorry, I'm not... a Japanese pull saw. Yeah. So I, I, I like these because you've got rip cut on one side, cross cut on the other. Yeah. Okay, and they work in tension. So when you're pulling, you're dragging, and it makes the blade stiff. Right. But it's a much thinner blade than you'd have on a normal push saw. Right. The only trouble is they do they go dull quite quickly, so they don't last a massive amount of time. Right. But you you can see how thin that yeah, yeah. saw is. Yeah. And they're really good for doing cut and dovetails. Right. To the drawers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. This is. If there's any blood, I'm going to do a little warning for this before we start. This is getting a little bit dull now. And what you also get is quite a fine cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So with a normal push saw, because the, the, the rake of the teeth is greater, you get more yeah. ridged cuts, so there's less work to do. So that is the blank that we start with. Jesus Christ. Let me put my thumb there like, to see perspective right so use this little washer as a template for the flower get it in the middle and draw around it there we are so that's that bit now we get the the gouge which is the curve of the flower yeah so you're doing the stab cuts to give you the limit of the flower. You can see how little I've got to hold on to. Yeah, so at we'll... this point I'd be bleeding, I think. And then we come over the top, just to relieve that a little bit. stab cuts when I first started these they were about half an hour each and I managed to get them down to about 25 minutes right. yeah I suppose it's the first hundred that does, uh, does you in it well Jesus Christ look at that you can't do all day because your attention just your concentration just wanders so yeah you have to go off and do something else because it's so intense because the thing that I'm worried about is my fingers yeah I mean obviously you're going to have accidents at some point but you want to prevent weeks off work don't you yeah. so we've done that now yeah. I've got to cut this side down Now this is where sometimes if the grain is running awkward it makes it a little bit difficult. So always take the chisel away from your fingers if you can. And you can see that one there, the grain doesn't want to go that way. so. Try this side a bit better. Oop, what wood's that again? The end. Just lost the tiny. This is sycamore because uh, you couldn't do this with pine because it's just. It's so small that it'll just break it. Yeah. So sycamore gives you a little bit extra. I suppose you could use beech. It's quite but uh, both those woods take um, paint, but they you can't use them outside. It's got to be internal. Right. So lime wouldn't be an option. 
Lime, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can use lime. Uh, well, small leaf lime is quite good. Mm. If you get um, some of the other limes, the grain is a little bit um, woolly. Yeah. So you, you want something that will take the detail. So I want to go down there. Has John got to paint these? Yep. Jesus. So you're getting the shape. Yeah. Now, just tidy that up a bit. This is the bit we I managed to stab myself because I just want to relieve round the base of the flower a bit. I think I'll drive me divvy. Well, that's why I say you can't do too many hours at it without having a break. It gets easier as they get bigger. Right, so I've got the, the base of the flower is now standing. So I just want to shape the sides a little bit better. this little one again doing the stab cuts and turn it over to and I have got one chisel that is smaller than this but this is after that you can't do anything to make yeah can you see the yeah, yeah, yeah. you just can't get the tools to do it no, because no, there's no. too much metal no. yeah so we take that out like that and we move on to a third chisel Here it is. Right. So we take this a slightly bigger yeah. curve. So that will come out there. 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 Go back to the little one. So you just want that bit of wood. Again, that's the negative you're actually carving out, isn't it? Yeah. Which is the bit that I didn't understand last time watching you now. That's, you're not, when you're carving a flower, you're actually carving out the negative. Yeah, you're carving point. out the space. Yes, yeah. And every cut should be, should meet, all the all the cuts should meet, and then you get a crisp. Oop. Yeah, I nearly lost a bit. <laughs> And you get a crisp edge. Mm. So there ain't going to be a machine that can make these, is it? Oof. There probably is, but I mean, the trouble with machines is you've got to do an awful lot of repetition yes. to pay for the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, and I suppose there ain't going to be another. And, and it, it, machines always take a lot of time setting up. Yeah. Right, now we're going to do the petals. All the leaves of the rose. That's where we're going to make them. So, again, stab cuts.
this one and we'll give it some shape. is in focus. I can't see it with my bare eye to be. <laughs> so that's what you got so far. So yep. now with the skew chisel, see that's this one. Yeah. So we can just Clean out around that bit. chisel and I've got to make a groove there, a groove there, a groove there. So Transigent grey there. That's one. So tell me again how many of these you had to make for the... Uh, nearly 50 I think there was 49 I think. So do the maths people, that's um, 50 times 25. And then John's got to paint them. There we are, so we get to that stage. Now, with a little bit of 120 grit, I'll just sand that back. Come on. You see that this size, they're really quite difficult to keep hold of. Yeah, um, to be honest, I'm pretty unlike me, quiet, because uh, I'm a bit gobsmacked Mark, as the amount of uh, I kind of get the gist of it on bigger scale stuff because I can relate to it myself, you think yeah you chop that bit out and it makes that shape but when you're doing stuff this this small and this delicate it's just um, yeah it's ridiculous really the of work. This is about the limit of what I can work to Yeah. flower and then we'll just round out the outside edge a bit you, you don't want to sand too much detail away otherwise you won't have anything left when the paint goes on yeah but also you don't want too many sharp edges because the paint always comes off sharp edges. Mm.
There we are. Now the last bit is the bit that I like mainly because it's near the end. <laughs> 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 this is one of my favourite tools. So with the V gouge, can you see? Oh yeah, make sure I get it in there. Yep. So it's the t smallest V gouge I've got. Just put edges in the leaves like that. Let's go back a bit further. And then these ones. And then one last little sand. Easy as that, people. Only another 49 to do. Well, yeah. You've got some patience, Mark, because I tell you now that was, I'd be, um, I could see three opportunities of stabbing myself in that last 10 minutes. I'd have been bleeding, swearing, kicking, the, kicking all my tools about. Wicked. Look at that. Yeah, but I'd probably reject that one because I've just lost the tip of that. So I'd probably make another one to replace that. I suppose you're going to have to do a certain percentage more anyway, just because I if did, you miss I any did, fitting. Or... I did three extras. Yeah, yeah, just in case you because break them, fitting them yeah, or well, whatever. Isn't you've it? got to drill through and pin them, and right. sometimes they do snap. Yeah. So was was it's. It's much harder once you've done a job and it's gone yeah. to then replicate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better to do everything all at the same time because you 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 saw the d procedures mm. and while you remember the procedures, it's second nature. Mm. Mm. Once you've moved on to something else and forgotten about it, it becomes more difficult to remember mm. exactly what the cuts are. Yeah. That's why when I come to do the fruit, I'll try and do as many fruit in a run so that I've always got fresh in the mind. Yeah, that makes cuts. sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to do. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. And that's how you carve a minuscule, tiny, tiny, tiny little cupboard corner. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Catch us on the next one. There you go. So you've got to do another eight year then this evening there.